Glorify him, he's worthy of praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name, we have worship. Thank you, Father. Lord, this morning, do a new thing in our life. Turn things around in our favor. Let your spirit reign over all flesh. Let your spirit reign over the church. Let all the glory be yours. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Somebody leap for joy and shout hallelujah. Amen. I didn't say shout. I said leap and shout hallelujah amen praise the lord well shake somebody and tell that person you will keep living for joy in jesus name amen amen praise god please be seated god bless you God is about to add to you this morning. Amen. You shall not return empty. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. This morning I want to share with us from God's word. And we are going to also put the word of God to practice. Amen. <clears throat> Exercising your spirit exercising your spirit exercising your spirit when a car for example or a house is left unused for a long time without being used the car or the house begin to fall apart praise god the car even without use is it, it it will begin to cost the person who parked the car just because it is not in use so you use it you don't use it something is happening to the car in fact it is better to use it praise the lord than not using it praise the lord likewise house when it's left desolate like that after a while um, you will need to spend a lot of money renovating the building praise the lord just because it is not in use it's the same thing it's the same thing with our spirit even your physical body praise the lord if your like the bible says bodily exercise has profit in it praise god in first uh, timothy he said bodily exercise has some profit in it praise the lord so uh exercising has something to add to you whether you are living or not living whether you are a person or a thing praise the lord praise the lord so uh likewise our spirit when your spirit is not in use when our spirit is not being exercised then something begins to happen to that same spirit praise the lord and uh, most times we don't know it when it does happen amen, amen. It, we don't know when it happens but you just find that that because the spirit is just laying fallow it's just not being exercised in fact that is why the scripture says 
quench not the spirit hallelujah so the spirit can be quenched the spirit can be quenched so that is you know when you are quenching something it's like you are it's fading out praise the lord it's fading out so if we are not exercising the spirit it will eventually begin to deplete fade away and all that so a church that will not begin to corrode must be bible says be fervent in spirit hallelujah if 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 a church of or a people if they are not fervent in spirit then you know the church becomes cold it becomes something that god doesn't want in his mouth he said when you are you say you say you choose whether you want to be cold or whether you want to be hot hallelujah but if you are lukewarm, i'll spill you out of my mouth but it's, it's his will that we are hot praise the lord he himself is hot he is a consuming fire so this morning it is important that uh, we start exercising your spirit hallelujah so that we can be fervent in spirit and that's what we want to look at this morning and i, I trust god for a miracle for somebody because perhaps we find out perhaps that is the reason why your body is failing sickness is attacking it praise the lord and it is succeeding in attacking it because your spirit is not being exercised hallelujah like i said there will be a miracle for somebody I don't know whether you are expectant. I said there shall be a miracle for somebody here. Amen. And if you believe God for it, it will happen. Amen. It will happen. Now, the scripture says very clearly, let's read together in Joel. In Joel chapter 2, chapter two the second chapter of uh, Joel. Let us pray. Father, breathe upon your word. Give us understanding and ignite your spirit inside of us in jesus precious name amen joel chapter 2 and verse 28 please follow me very carefully it's easy to slide into ignorance when we take the word of god for granted or we are too familiar with the word of god so please be careful and follow me very carefully Joel chapter 2 and verse 28 it says and it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon upon what praise the Lord hallelujah I, I don't want you people to let me have to do something from here amen as soon as something is happening you should deal with it amen hallelujah as soon as there's distraction quickly deal with it amen if you are not doing that for me you are not helping me and will be grieving the spirit of god praise the lord amen let's be instant to do what is right so that the spirit of god can flow easily can i hear an amen joel chapter 2 28 and it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. How many flesh? And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the, the handmaid, in those days will I pour out my spirit. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be what? Is that safe that is there? Are you read? You are not reading with me. You are just listening to me. Praise God. I need you to read with me. Hallelujah. Are you in the scripture? 
and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be what? Okay, some people are not even there. Praise the Lord. Come on, everybody. Joel chapter 2. Come on, let's wake up. Joel chapter 2 and verse 28. Are you there? Are you there? If you are there, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. You need to see what God is saying, not just hear. Hallelujah. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon how many flesh? And your sons and your daughters shall do what? They shall do what? Your old men shall do what? Your young men shall see what? And also upon the servant and upon the handmaid in those days I will pour out my spirit. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be what? <laughs> yes, I did. Praise the Lord. Yes, I did. Amen. But somebody got it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Verse 29, right? Or verse 32. Praise the Lord. Verse 32 says, And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be what? Delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. And the Lord as the Lord has said and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call praise the Lord now the Spirit of God will be poured upon all flesh according to the scripture in that day and then by the Spirit of God upon the people every segment everyone will begin to manifest the gift of the spirit in other words the outpouring of the spirit of god will be activating the gifts of the spirit praise the lord that means it will be activating and making it work it will it will fire up the realm of the spirit but it has to happen by the outpouring of the spirit of god hallelujah if you want the fire to catch much you put in more uh, uh, petrol or, 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 or something praise the Lord so but now he said when that is done verse 32 says that then they will call upon my name and I will hear them may God hear your prayers so it takes God doesn't hear or listen or answers all prayers praise the Lord there are some things that need to be in place some reason why we are not getting some result like we ought to get is because we don't really uh, uh, make use of preparation we don't we don't give attention for preparation because preparation will really determine the quality of what is going to happen later and what god does all the time is always quality can i hear an amen so the scripture says very clearly that it will ignite the spirit of god the gift of the spirit of god but you see if there's no outpouring of the spirit that simply means that the people will be cold amen that that there won't be all these gifts will not be uh you know active in the church so the church will just become just um there will be no manifestation of the spirit of god it will just be religion dance sing look good you know then at most greet each other and then uh, share the grace and go home but god is not there the manifest and the whole world is waiting for the manifestations of the sons of god praise the lord the whole world that's what they are waiting for and as long as the world does not see that then there is nothing divine about us exactly what the world is doing is what we are also doing what makes us different is when the spirit of God is in manifestations in our midst otherwise exactly what is happening in meetings elsewhere that is what is happening in our midst then we are not different so how do we call them to come here to come and see the beautiful place 
to come and see how he dance no no praise the lord very soon today we also invite you and say you to come to our place we have come to your own to see how your own runs come and see our own too praise god and if you don't come to the own they won't come again hallelujah the the jesus jesus the spirit descended upon him and as he went about doing good like i shared with us the other time healing you see healing raising the dead as you there was the manifestation so he didn't he, people were pursuing him and coming after him so it was the manifestation at one point he told them that it is because of the manifestation that's why you are coming because of the bread that was multiplied you are still coming okay come no problem there's more manifestation praise the lord so but until the spirit be poured upon us and then we begin to manifest it we will not be a people of attraction it will be difficult the race that god has called you and i to into will be will be problematic because we don't have what it takes to run it anymore i pray that in the name of jesus god will put in your hands what it takes to run the race that's what it takes the manifestation of the spirit it is not meant for special or some particular people it is meant for you i said it is meant for you but when we don't see it important and we don't dare to diff to different to be different we don't dare to put ourselves into things that makes us special people praise the lord then there's no difference hallelujah praise god there's a difference between when god calls an assembly and when a village head calls an assembly hallelujah it's a difference the king of king calling an assembly is a powerful assembly the scripture says in romans chapter 12 and verse 11 romans 12 11 he said we should be fervent in spirit if we have to serve the lord we must be fervent in spirit hallelujah fervent active engaging the things of the spirit that means if you serve god if you serve God, you see, we serve God with our spirit. I will come to that in a few minutes. Hallelujah. But you see, you must be fervent in spirit. Be fervent in spirit. Fervent. Your spiritual well-being has to be so excited, has to be sharp and effective. And it has to be contagious. Hallelujah. It must be able to influence somebody. There are some kind of laugh. You don't have to know the reason why the person is laughing. The person will laugh it in such a way that you will just find yourself laughing with the person while you are asking, why are you laughing? Can I hear an amen? How many of you understand that? Amen. You, you just, the person is just laughing. Why are you laughing? Meanwhile, you are already laughing. You are asking why. So you don't even wait for the reason why the person is laughing you have joined in the whatever is the reason praise god and then you are still asking what tell me now you are the person you have pulled the person into the matter before the person begin to find out why is he even inside the matter may you be a person of attraction i know you are beautiful you are handsome you look good and all that but that is in the physical we are talking about that ability of the spirit if you can walk on that spirit allow the spirit of god to stir up your own spirit hallelujah you will be attractive spiritually you know when we are physically being attracted by whatever you you, you can easily be misled praise the lord the things of the spirit we bring forth the things of the spirit the things that are carnal we only bring forth the things that are carnal hallelujah that which is born of the spirit is spirit and that which is born of the flesh is what is also flesh 
so i'm drawing your attention god's people to the spirit we know how to do the other flesh one this physical one i'm talking about the spirit what is inside us we need to give attention to the inside of us hallelujah so that we can really be light light that attracts praise the lord as far as the church is concerned there is uh, the bible says that uh, and we are come unto mount zion hebrews chapter 12 praise the lord the city of the living god to the innumerable numbers of angels in heaven praise the lord to the church of the firstborn to the generous i mean he was telling you what mount zion stands for but there's one place he also mentioned is he talked about the spirit of just men hallelujah the spirit the spirit of just men how do they get perfected it takes the outpouring of the spirit of god for the spirit of man to be perfect can i hear an amen, amen. but because if the spirit remains the way it is he's working in imperfection there's nothing about it there's nothing special about it it's like that man in the main road that man who is not saved who is not born again it's not different what makes it different is the is that contact and the outpouring of the spirit of god you don't you don't let it go because if it goes you have now become like them the bible says and they shall die like men the thing that happens to men will be happening to them what is happening to unbelievers will be happening to them also oh outside they get accident oh they will have accident too oh misfortune happens to them it happens to them too just anything that happens in the world will just begin to happen to them because they are not different may you be different may you be different so what it takes your responsibility to allow god to walk in your spirit so that you can be enlisted among the people that they call the spirit of just men the people that god has justified if you are that person shout hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> the, the spirit of just men made perfect he's not talking about their justification no. he's talking about their spirit their spirit and you know god is spirit amen god is what god wants to relate with your spirit do you know there's nothing we can wear have put on on this body that we that excite god everything you have that you wear is, he knows them he created them praise the lord he did he had them. so he's particular about the spirit of man that's why when we leave this earth all that thing will be left here praise the lord everything the body is carrying will be left here they are all dirt the spirit of man by the time we are done this morning i want your spirit to be fired up hallelujah fired up in such and we are going to pray we're going to pray in the spirit just like we did yesterday hallelujah we're going to pray in the spirit and you are praying crying abba father to god telling him lord <laughs> encounter my spirit Let, and encounter something inside of me i don't want to die like men i don't want to get attacked like by a witch just like as if i'm not saved no no i want to be the apple of your eye that as soon as any devil thinks evil against me god will kill him just, just thinking he's not going here just the fact he's thinking evil god will just you did what? Bam! Don't wake up again. That is somebody God has decided to jealously love. Jealously. God is jealous about you. Doesn't want nonsense about your life. Doesn't want anybody who just dares it or anything. He's, he's, he's sharp to react. 
praise God. You can find that in Hebrews, Hebrews 12, and I think it's verse 23. 23, right? Praise God. Oh, you have it there. Hallelujah. To the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to God, the judge of all, and the spirit of just men made perfect. Praise the Lord. Glory be to Jesus. So that spirit, God is, is what that is that th this is what it should be about. Our spirit. Our spirit. They think inside inside us until they prosper we have not seen true prosperity until the things inside us until they prosper we have not seen true he said i wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth praise god it, so it until inside us the thing is our mind soul spirit everything thou shalt worship the Lord with all thy soul with all thy everything inside of you until they prosper we have not seen true prosperity all, all this thing is cosmetics something that will wash away something that will drop on the floor something that will not be even remembered praise the Lord it won't be remembered it won't be remembered it will not be remembered because those things there they will be left here may you be remembered May you be remembered in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, if you look at Romans chapter 8, we are going to pray because I want us to take time to pray. Hallelujah. Because God will touch somebody here today. If you are that person, shout a loud amen. If you are that person, stand on your feet, shout and leap and shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody is not leaping. I say, Sleep on your feet and shout hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Now Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. He said, watch this. I need to show you something here. I'm talking about exercising what? Aha. Uh -huh. And what you are about to be taught by the Holy Ghost now. I want you to take it to become your lifestyle every moment apostle paul said i thank god that i pray in tongue more than y'all in fact he said it is because of you that is why i am i am even speaking known language to you praise god because if i now speak in how will you now say i have known what i'm praying how would you even say amen you can't say amen so because of you that's why i'm even praying in known tongue Hallelujah. But if I'm by myself, alone, I will just be doing my thing. Like that. The whole day. Hallelujah. That is why he had depths in God. May you go deeper. In Romans chapter 8 and verse 9 let's take it from verse 8 let us read verse 8 together put it up on the screen Romans chapter 8 and verse 8 what does it say want to go so then they that are in the flesh cannot play watch this they that are in the flesh cannot please God in Philippians chapter 3 and verse 13 I do not count myself to have apprehended. One thing I do, forgetting the thing that's behind, I'm reaching forward to that which is before. He said, I press. Hallelujah. I am pressing towards the mark for the high callings of God. You see, until you please the one who organizes your race, you cannot get the prize. When they give you prize, when you run a relay race, it is because you have pleased the requirement am i talking you have pleased the requirement and because you pleased the requirement they now say okay this is your prize this is your crown there is a race set before you god's people know it today there's a race set before you 
by God the fact that you are alive but understand that you must please him who called you and you will please him in running the race hallelujah you will please him to run the race of life until you please him he has nothing to give you but if you please him you have you, your prize will be handed over to you so he said what where is it again verse uh, verse verse 8 i said right praise the lord verse verse 8 what did he say again give it to me verse 8 verse 8 of romans 8 read it for me everybody if you found it so you that's a disqualifier you can't please god there's no price for you that you can't free to run the race for sure praise god you know there are some people they just put it to run shoes so they just to run so that uh, you remember i don't know those of you did uh, uh, in the house sport in school sometimes they invite the parents to praise the lord they will, then, then they will say the parents to come and run hallelujah no they will tell them to run amen they were wrong do they get any price that one is just for sure did they run yes but nothing for them just for us to laugh hallelujah there are some people who run for sure just run so that we can laugh hallelujah but nothing will be given to them it's just for fun i pray that your race will not be for fun because the reason why you are running it is because of a price that must drop in your hands. Your race will not be in vain. So he said, be fervent in spirit. Because the spirit is going to influence you in order to reach out so that you can make it. All the nonsense that this world and this earth want to throw at you, God will give you victory over them. In the second service, I'll be dealing deeper on those matters. But I want to focus on the spirit in this morning. Hallelujah. So he says, So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. So our attention must not be on the flesh. It's not, that's not where it is, has to be in the spirit. That is where we can please God verse um, 9 says but he said but ye are not in the flesh somebody shout hallelujah <laughs> hallelujah glory be to jesus he said ye are not in the flesh come on say with me i'm not in the flesh so in other words he's saying that you are not among those that cannot please god you didn't hear what i said he, he's saying that you are not in the flesh you are not among those people that cannot please god in other words you are ordained ready prepared and already pleasing god i thought i would hear a better amen. amen that is your specialty how special you are and it is because of what is happening inside of you but ye are not in the flesh but in where but in the spirit so we have to be in the spirit can i hear an amen watch this he said if so be that the spirit of god dwells in you now now if any man have not the spirit of Christ he is none of his and if Christ be where be in you he said the body is what because of what he said but the spirit is what like because of what make your spirit to be alive is righteousness whether we like it or not the body will die it will bring death and it will die. Are you hearing me now? The body will bring death and it will still die. But the spirit will live 
focus of righteousness. What is righteousness? Doing what is right before God. Can I hear an amen? Not before man, before God. Watch this. He said, hmm, don't miss this, don't miss this. He said, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him, oh, listen to this very well. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dwe- from the dead dwells in you. Now, now, watch this. Who, what, who, who is referred to as him there? Oh, you, you get it. But if the spirit of him, glory be to Jesus. Remember, I said God is spirit. Amen. So, he has talked about the spirit of Christ. Now, he said, but if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you. Look up here, God's people. Mm. Darling, come. Thank you, Jesus. If, if Jesus came, this is Jesus. Amen him to die suffered rose for example then I God I raised by the spirit of God I raised Jesus from the dead praise the Lord by my spirit he said if the spirit of him that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you praise God if he dwells inside of you the same spirit that raised jesus from the dead that spirit if it dwells in you the thing that he did for jesus he will did it he will do it in you the spirit is a razor that spirit will raise you hear me i said that spirit will raise you that spirit it will raise you from sickness raise you from affliction every element that destroys the world he will raise you above them that's what he said he will raise you He he raised jesus from it from the way men die and remain dead praise god he raised him he was the firstborn from the dead can I hear an amen? amen? He was the first that rose from the dead. So, so, so he knows the business. So he said that spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, if he dwells in you, praise God. He said he will quicken. Hallelujah. Amen. He will quicken your mortal body. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. That means when that spirit dwells inside, of her it will influence her mortal but it will affect the flesh are you hearing me so that anything that wants to destroy this body it will raise this body above what happens to ordinary bodies so that the thing that kills bodies like this cannot kill this one Amen. that's it it can kill others but this one that has a content inside called the spirit of God inside he said he will quicken this one raise this body to the point that the principalities and powers wickedness of darkness and wickedness of men cannot affect this one Amen. That is what the Spirit of God can do. God bless you. Hallelujah. Now, he said, he said, he said, but if the Spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he said, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall do what? Also quicken your what? Mortal bodies by what? By his Spirit that dwells in you. I thought somebody will speak in tongue and shout hallelujah. 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 Praise God. He will quicken.
quicken your mortal body he will excite you from inside i'm telling you this is the promise of god it is not your business to begin to see the arrow they will come but they cannot penetrate they will organize against you it will just not work out god will frustrate that enemy but you your own business is to just be in the spirit make sure that the spirit of god dwells in you hallelujah and you are farming the embers of your spirit you begin to you begin to stir up that spirit inside of you the bible says it will quicken your mortal body hallelujah it will do something about your body as you begin to find the embers of your spirit sickness will leave your body pain will leave your body your body will be healed divinity will meet your body glory be to jesus it is called the spirit of god yeah? that is what begin to perfect your spirit glory be to jesus glory be to jesus and you and i that serves god it is with this spirit listen to me listen because people you cannot be serving god and be serving sickness oh i said you can't be serving god and be serving sickness somebody is going to be healed somebody is going to be delivered somebody is going to be restored listen listen let's read the scripture romans chapter one romans chapter one and verse nine romans chapter one and verse nine oh thank you jesus thank you that spirit is working in you Romans chapter 1 and verse 9. Let's read together. One, two, go. For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his son, that without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayer. Glory be to Jesus. Did you notice? He said, I serve God with my spirit. Did you notice? He didn't say, I serve him with my body. I serve God with my spirit. When I serve God with my spirit, my body is well. Glory be to Jesus. My body is following suit because I serve God with my spirit. I communicate with God with my spirit. I, I connect with God with my spirit. When I talk to God, I am talking to God from the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. Is somebody hearing what I'm saying now? I am communicating with God with my spirit. Listen to me, God's people. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. Speaking in tongue without what I have just shared with you, speaking in tongues is powerless. You need to understand what I've just said. You, you, you should have caught it. It will empower. It will, it will establish power in your speaking in tongues for manifestation. I said in this service you will be healed. I'd I like to show you something interesting and we are going to pray. In a few minutes we are going to pray. He said, I serve God with my spirit. All of you here, you serve God. But I want you to serve him with your spirit. Praise God. I want you to rearrange yourself in the spirit. And connect with the God of all spirit. Who is also the God of all flesh. Glory be to Jesus. Hmm. I just told you. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, in... 
in Roman is in, in in John chapter one. The beginning was the word. The word was the God, and the word was God, right? And it talks about God being the light. Hallelujah. And that light shine in darkness, and darkness cannot comprehend. Praise the Lord. The word light. Word light. Word light. Word with the capital W and light with the capital L. Praise God. Look at this scripture in Psalm 119. From today, your speaking in tongue will be powerful. Psalm 119 and verse 130. 130. Psalm 119 and 1 verse 130. Shall we read together? One to go. The entrance of thy word giveth it giveth understanding. <laughs> it said the entrance of his word gives what? Light. And it gives understanding to the simple. Hold that. I'm coming back to that place. Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 14. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 14. 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 14. Are you all there? Let's read that one together. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 14. Is it online? Is it there? Now, are you all there? First Corinthians 14, 14. Oh, wonderful. Praise God. He said, let's read together one to go. For if I pray in an unknown tongue, oh, wait a minute. What is, who is praying? I can't hear you. When you do what? What is not happening? When you pray in a new tongue, that is when your spirit is actually praying. That spirit, that, that spirit which which you serve God, is praying. <laughs> that spirit, when you pray in a tongue, it is relating with the God of all spirit and the God of all flesh. When you speak in tongues in a new tongue, I don't understand what I am saying, but my spirit prayed to God Almighty. Just like Paul said, I'm only speaking language that you understand because of you. If it is me, la rushte karada de bo, yende de de bo, shakanda la kurama. That's my business. But so that you can say, man, I understand what I'm saying. Let me just speak normal tongue. Praise the Lord, God, that I serve with my spirit. Did you ever hear that? Uh, Paul was sick. And they are, you know, all these things. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Look at what he said here. If I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prayed. But my understanding is what? I don't understand. It's my spirit that is communicating. My spirit is the one doing the thing. I don't understand. I don't understand. But listen, listen. God's word gives understanding. 